This is Rock of Ages 3, the latest entry in the game series that's all about making and breaking things. So basically, you're either playing as this kind of boulder type object that's trying to smash or destroy the environment, or you're building. It's kind of got back and forth elements too. If you go to like a boss fight, you might be kind of taking turns if that makes sense and then there's like community content as well that takes stuff further so what's neat about this game is you're literally just trying to cause mayhem and destruction as a big ball and uh, you've got different goals there's different levels it's a neat take on the whole rolling element of play and it's got like this sort of godly type inspiration to it and a bit of a unique humor one might say it's not necessarily the most amazing sort of thing. I thought this game was pretty okay when I initially, you know, reviewed it and recovered it back uh, around the launch of it so a while ago. Since I actually had to go look that up because I was like, oh wow, how long has that been? And I was like, wow, it's been a while. So yeah, it's got like, like I said, a, a really neat art aesthetic and style to it. At the same time, it's really just okay. It's nothing to dramatically intense and it offers a good amount of different content things you can you know sort of enjoy and wild things to have but yeah it's uh it's, it's definitely just sort of all right but let's jump on to the the next one so this was one of those bosses that i was talking about i think it's a fairly early one we're gonna skip the cinematic they've, they've got some silly sort of things it's the flying spaghetti monster versus this guy and you're kind of throw it into the middle so they've also got competitive tower defense, so they had that split screen, you can make your own level setups, it's, it's kind of neat, you choose your weapons, the different boulder types, fist boulder, cow, you know, you can do different things like that, which is kind of neat, and then you gotta pick your, like, your, uh, basically your tower abilities and stuff, it's, it's really quite interesting, you unlock more different options too as you progress and get to different areas. Now we're going to do the lion boulder. Let's let's get ready and jump into the action. Going to do the fist. So then we've got this setup here. So we've got to like build our different tower areas in order to defend and or stop their particular boulder from getting too close to our home base and everything like that. It's it's, it's actually like quite a neat back and forth setup, one might say. Town, and we'll, we'll put some here. We're just gonna kind of go with the whirl on it. We throw out some giant, uh, giant war elephants, and uh, I don't know, we'll put up a, there's a catapult over here. So you're seeing the dynamics of like basically setting up almost traps, if that makes sense, and then you can put these these mines out too in order to get you know extra gold and stuff. We've already got a couple of these. Pull in here. Anyways, and oh, it's got some enchanting music, I suppose, too, which is kind of neat. But you're mostly building towers, trying to prevent the the progress of this this rock that's coming. That's really just your general goal is prevention and some you know kind of defensive points here. And you've only got so many coins you can spend on things. And put like a war elephant here. <laughs> And then they kind of like evade your traps to a degree as well. And there we go, the enemy is rolling. So hopefully that helps a little bit. And you're just trying to stop them. So you got the enemy's rock abilities. Smash that before they even got there. And then you're kind of blocked from building again in the swaths, which can be a bit of a pain. But anyways, it's got like a variety of different things for you to kind of, you know, enjoy and, and do in this one. Uh, I think it's kind of neat. Mm. And then you could do your launch attack too, which is kind of cool. So we got to get ours going in order to battle them, get some more coins. And it's just a sort of back and forth uh, sort of battle is here. Your rocks crumble and... That, that's really what it is. It's it's just like, you know, sending these rock things down, smashing stuff, and trying to uh, outwit your opponent across a variety of different, like, campaign-type level scenarios. 
not much more complexity to it than that. Wow, that was an epic fail on that ball. That's for sure. But let's get it picked back up. I think the coolest thing and probably the strongest you know, point of what this series is is the fact that it's got like a cool look and sort of a funny, quirky vibe to it. But I, I think gameplay-wise, the mechanics and stuff are kind of like, eh, okay, so-so. You do get a fair bit to do, and it, it does offer some unique, you know, situations. Oh, that's good damage. Good damage, indeed. Should we do the lion? So anyways, we're back to defending now. Oh, we got the lightning bolt attacks, too. I totally forgot about that. Let's see what we've got here. Hmm. So obviously our, our buildings, they're in shambles. So we've got to build more towers. Hopefully towers that can actually get the job done. It's like they walked right by all of our defenses. It's like our defenses weren't even there. I know how well this is going to do, but let's see if we can... At least hold them off a little bit better this time around, and our ball's still being sculpted. I'm trying to like kill the momentum at certain like choke points, if that makes sense, in order to hold them off. So you just get a bunch of missions, and there's like a cool little like pooling area you go to. It's it's like this sort of waterbed that you're you're swimming through in order to uh, basically you know, get to your different new missions, and there's this godly theme to everything. It's, it's neat in that regard. Oh, my stuff's gonna knock him down fast enough for if I'm gonna make it. But the goal was just to kind of show off the, the games so you could see it in action, understand what it's, you know, running like. It's, it's quite smooth now, which is good, you know, it's just running really well on the platform. I don't really have any issues with it in that regard. Uh, it could be a fun and, and quirky time. Definitely something that is a, a little bit weird for sure. I think it's all right. Why did I go flying off the ledge there again? Making so much trouble. But look at the destruction they're causing. See, I'm kind of dying over and over, and that's possible. We'll sort of change up our angle a little bit. There we go. Yeah, you can see all the the damage and stuff as you go around and try to out with your rocky opponent. So that's just really what it is. You're, you're rolling a ball down, you're causing destruction, you're smashing things, or you're trying to defend. There are a variety of different uh, minigame type setups too that you kind of work through if that makes sense. So different challenges with the balls and it offers a, a good amount of content to it if you're looking for this you know, type of experience. How much damage do we do? Ooh. Not enough. And then you kind of get your next balls sculpted, and we'll see how much damage they did there. Oh, it's it's dire for me, I tell you. It's it's dire. It's not good at all. It looks like our attempts to defend were not worthwhile. We weren't able to successfully hold up a defense. So let's hopefully get some good towers going on. And you gotta like space them out a little bit, but also kind of have them set up so that they can, you know, slow down the progression just a little bit. I don't think we really got room for like a war elephant, do we? It's a bit of a shame, but the war elephants are always very cool. They're always ready for war too. And it depends on this next shot how fast we get here. But yeah, sort of funny, sort of quirky, defend your thing, play uh, with other people if you'd like to. As mentioned, online multiplayer for four players, local two, which is kind of nice. So you set up your matches, you compete. The enemy's rolling, I better get rolling too. And you just aim to win and uh, come out on top, which is kind of neat. And hopefully we can achieve that here, but we need to move faster than their players do. The boxes can be a little annoying for sure, eh? Oh, that's annoying. 
I'm never gonna get there in time. And I guess they're still not doing a good job of it, but it can actually pretty well damage my rock uh, considerably. And we made it in! Ha ha ha! We beat him! Yeah, that's the game. Rock of Ages 3, make it break.